Hi everybody, Vanquished Angel here, and today's subject is going to be troubleshooting or how to troubleshoot a program or uh, to get an error code to get some help. Because sometimes, every once in a while, you run into it in Linux where um, a program just all of a sudden won't start. And then you got to try to figure it out, but you don't exactly always know how, especially um, if it's a program which you're used to starting from the menu. And then you got to start it from the command line. Now, some of them that you download from the internet or you know from the software repository, um, you can just actually type it into terminal and it'll come up. Like, let's first say Firefox. And then, of course, Firefox should eventually here. It takes a while because it just does for me because I have so much crap installed on it. Um, and then Firefox pops up. And then you'll notice you get a bunch of stuff in here. Well, once I closed it or whatever. Um, and notice there's a permission issue there. But that's not important because Firefox still runs. But let's say it's a program you had to download and install. Like in this case recently happened, Heroes of New Earth. So we're going to try Hun. Well, that's not going to work. Hun.shish maybe. That's not going to work either. Now we're going to see in the game here, Heroes of New Earth. We're going to try, and we get a big fat nothing with no error. Something's going on. So this kind of gets into the meat and potatoes of how to do things. You have to go to your Hun folder. Okay, this is my Heroes of New Earth folder, and it's called Hun. This is usually in your home directory, so right here, okay? So, now we're in our home directory. One of these files actually starts the game, which is actually this one. So what you're going to do then is in your command line here, and I have the commands already copied for most of them, so we're going to cd to that folder. cd just switches the directory of the folder. So now we're in that Han folder. Okay. Now we are going to run that folder or that file that starts the game. Now it's a little bit different. Uh, let's go back and take a look here. This is the file that starts the game. It'll usually look something like that. Um, so you're going to want to type that in. However, if you just type that in, it won't work. We can give that a shot here. And see, command not found. Because in order to run the file, you have to type in dot forward slash. Then hun dot shish. Now we get an error we can deal with, okay? So we're going to look up this error here. So what I usually do, I won't copy the whole thing because not all of it always applies, but I will copy that much of it. Right about there maybe even this part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in to Google, which is our friend. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for clues as to what is going on here. And I usually just looked in this. Right here. And I happen to actually know what the issue is. Um, so let's just see, it's not that one. Let's see if we can find the one in here. And it looks like it's right here, okay?
Alright, so our clue is Cairo is failing to resolve the symbol from free type. So here is our clue as to what's going on. So the problem is actually free type, which is a font. Now here is another clue, and I will tell you this with a lot of games. It's likely that this program, MATLAB, which is not one we're using, we're using HUN, ships with a private copy of FreeType which doesn't contain that symbol. So this is our clue here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see if maybe the issue that I'm having with HUN here, which happened with an upgrade by the way, um, is an issue here that we're having. So we're going to go back and we're going to look for libraries. Maybe I use a 64-bit computer, so we're going to look in here. But we would look through all of this, maybe for something that says free type, and um, see if we can find something like that. So we're going to look into here. These are all BMPs. So we're going to look into here and right there. Right here is our free type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. Now let me give a brief explanation here. A lot of programs, Hunt included, come up with backup libraries for things. This is for compatibility reasons because a lot of Linuxes have many different file paths. Okay, There are over 500 different Linuxes last time I looked, which was over 10 years ago. So there's probably vastly more than that now. And the, the how they keep compatibility with most of them is a lot of programs, especially ones like Heroes of New Earth, where they have a universal installer for Linuxes, will include uh, backup libraries like this to ensure that that library can be found. The problem is, as in today, is sometimes those libraries have issues. So this one seems to be having an issue. So we're going to go dot b a k dot back, which is typically what Linuxes will name backup files. And then we're going to hit enter. OK. Now that we have done that, after we have found that, we're going to, I'd like to not close the folder, and we're going to shrink that, and we're going to shrink that. Now we're going to try this command again. Okay? Copy. And paste. Enter. And as you can see, it has started, so as soon as it boots up, we're going to close out of there. And because I renamed it, it's not using the one that Heroes of New Earth shipped with, it's using the one found natively on my system. Um, but this is kind of basically how you do uh, that sort of checking and trial and error with programs that are installed where maybe there isn't a fix. As long as you can get the error and you look it up the way I did there with Google, sometimes you can find the answer. Just don't forget to undo things or changes that you've made. This can be a problem if you just keep going through making changes because you're never going to remember them all. So in this case, let's say that didn't work, then I would rename this back to what it was before. That way I could eliminate this as an issue. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you. I've used this method on other programs for Linux. Oh, and um, that'll also, you'll also now be able to provide an error to a forum or a chat room or whatever you post on, you're able to give them. So when I posted on the Heroes of New Earth forum, I could simply copy this right here and put that into the, the um, thing so that the developers knew what was happening because that basically tells them what was happening. Or in the case of Heroes of New Earth, it's community done now. So now the community can see the error that I was having and then they can discuss it and decide what to do about it. All right.
Thanks for watching and have a good day.